Section 5.4, Mini Lesson. So this lesson is going to cover just the very main ideas of this section. If you have any further questions or want to see more examples, just send me an email, give me a call, post in the discussion board, and uh, let me know what's giving you trouble and I can do up some more examples. We want to look at three different things here. We want to look at squaring a binomial, We want to look at the product of a sum and difference of two terms. And we also want to look at how do you cube a binomial. Now the textbook, or on my math lab, for this section shows some very specific formulas for squaring a binomial, for product of sum and difference of two terms, and I don't think it shows one for cubing a binomial. But what I want you to remember is that the only formula that's really worth memorizing here is going to be this one, the product of sum and difference of two terms. Everything else you can do just using the FOIL method. Actually everything here you can do using FOIL. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the one that you need to memorize, I'll mention it when we get to it, and it's because of stuff you're going to see in your next course that you want to memorize it. All right, so first, square binomial. Let's say we have x plus 5 squared. Well, if something is squared, and think of a number like 3 being squared, Squared means you multiply it times itself, twice. So that's 3 times 3, which is 9. Nothing changes if we have an expression being squared. We're going to do the same thing, multiply it by itself, twice. So what you want to avoid is don't distribute the exponent in there, because you're going to be losing some pieces if you do. All right, so you have to do the whole thing times itself twice. And now we have a binomial times a binomial. So we go ahead and FOIL it out, x times x, x squared, x times 5 is plus 5x, x times 5 again, plus 5x, 5 times 5 is plus 25. So that gives us x squared, plus 10x, plus 25. And like I mentioned, there is a formula in the book to memorize when you square a binomial, but I really find it easier to just FOIL them out. So that would be the answer for this one. Now we could have the exact same binomial, but let's say it has a minus sign instead. Let's see how different that would look. x minus 5 squared. So let's call that first one number 1, and this guy will be number 2. So we're still squaring a binomial, which means the x minus 5 multiplies by itself two times. So we're going to FOIL it out x squared minus 5x minus 5x again in the middle plus 25 so that gives us collecting like terms x squared take away 10x plus 25 and you'll notice if you compare the two answers the difference when you have a plus sign in your binomial versus a minus sign is the middle term the middle term has a plus sign when the binomial has a plus the middle term has a minus when the binomial has a minus. But again, just FOIL these out. You don't have to do anything different and you don't have to memorize a formula. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is the product of a sum and difference of two terms. And this is the one that will be worth your while to memorize. Let's say we have x plus 2 times x minus 2. So what we have is the sum of two terms, x and 2, and the difference of two terms, and we're multiplying it together. So we have the product of a sum and difference of two terms. So let's go ahead and FOIL it out and see what happens. x times x is x squared minus 2x plus 2x minus 4 
Look what's going on with the middle terms. Minus 2x plus 2x cancels out. Anytime you have a sum and a difference of the exact same two terms, the middles are going to cancel out. And what you're going to end up with is the first term squared take away the last term squared. So this is the formula that's worth memorizing. If you have a plus b times a minus b, that's always going to give you a squared, the first term, take away b squared, take away the second term. And there's a couple reasons why it's worth memorizing. Uh, one is that in the next course, you're going to be going in the other direction. You're going to be starting with something that looks like this, a squared minus b squared. And you'll need to know that this is a formula that works for it when you're putting parentheses back in. The other reason it's nice is that you can take any kind of problem. Like, let's say I've got uh, 5x plus 4 times 5x minus 4. I don't have to FOIL it out if I recognize that I've got a sum and difference of two terms going on. And I know, if I have that, that I just take the first term and square it. 5x squared is 25x squared. And then I subtract from that the second term squared. 4 squared, 16. And I have my answer. So it's a really quick way to get answers. And one more thing to look at is cubing a binomial. So we're going to handle that pretty much the same way as squaring. You're just going to keep foiling, foiling things out. So let's say we have x plus 2 being cubed. So we want to write it as x plus 2 times itself three times. And then we start to foil out. And it doesn't matter which ones you start with, so I'll start with these two here. This guy is just going to tag along for now. Times, foiling out the second two, we get x squared plus 2x plus 2x again plus 4. Now we want to collect like terms, so bring this x plus 2 down again. And we have x squared plus 2x plus 2x is plus 4x. And bring down the plus 4. Now we can go ahead and distribute this other one here. So x times x squared gives us x cubed x times 4x is plus 4x squared. x times 4 is plus 4x. That one's done. Now I go to the 2. 2 times x squared. And now I'm going to line it up here because it's going to be long if I don't. 2x squared. 2 times 4x is plus 8x. 2 times 4 is plus 8. So we're done with the foiling it out or the uh, distributing and collect like terms for the final answer. x cubed plus 6, x squared plus 12, x plus 8.